Hey Scorpio, it's Meg with Padme's and I am doing your, your new moon spread for the next couple of days, next couple of weeks here in March 2022. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We are calling in our angels and guides, the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. There we go. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. We've got the emperor reversed. We've got the two of swords and the eight of wands reversed. The two of swords is reversed. Sheesh, we've got the king of cups reversed and we've got the seven of wands. What is happening, Scorpio? So here we have this emperor and the emperor is the culmination of all of the kings. And when he is reversed, he is that powerful. He's the culmination of all of the kings out of his element. So not feeling like he is, <laughs> I wanna say, I'm hearing the guardian, not feeling like he is the guardian, not even feeling like that is his role. And the emperor is very much a protector. So when he's reversed and he's that powerfully reversed, he's feeling like he needs to, he's out of control. So there's this out of control feeling. There's this decision that has been made. And this decision has been made, but there's not been a lot of communication around it. Or a decision has been made because there hasn't been a lot of communication, which is throwing this emperor off, making them feel like they're not in control or in charge. And here's this king of cups, the in love king reverse. This is someone coming from their inner child in an emotional way. This can be someone who's emotionally manipulative. This can be someone who does not have control over their emotions. So I want to say this emperor that you're dealing with here, Scorpio, this is you or it's somebody else's energy that you're dealing with. It has more to do with kind of throwing some emotional tantrums or being emotionally upset about, about what we're going to find out about, but it looks like perhaps about a decision of non-communication and this decision of non-communication, whether it was you or someone else, is holding strong, holding true. Somebody's standing up for themselves. Somebody's making a boundary. Let's take a look here. And here's the sun reversed. This person who is standing up for themselves is saying that something was only half illuminated. Perhaps a truth, but something was only half illuminated. And so now they're feeling like they're defensive and they have to stand up for themselves. This star is reversed. Somebody did not get their wish. This king of cups reversed did not get their wish and they're emotionally upset about this now. Tell me about this communication. This communication, it, there's something about passionate communication. Somebody reached out with some passion and was presented with nothing in return. Tell me about this decision. This decision was made having to do, like there's a conflict here. There just, there's a decision that was made out of conflict and this emperor, this emperor looks as if, first of all, this emperor could be drinking a lot this emperor could be trying to act like they're happy when they're not happy. This emperor could be entertaining more than one person in a relationship or maintaining several different relationships. Okay, let's take a look, Scorpio, at your old wise tree. Whoa. I'm going to put these back in too many, too many your old wise tree. All right. So we've got the nine of cups, which is a wish card. And this is where everything is coming from. So this is the past. So 
the cups are overflowing. In the past, the cups were overflowing. Wishes were coming true. And the heart of the situation is talking about being open to receive. Let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. So we are looking at being open to receive. Okay, here's the deal, Scorpio. Being open to receive something that is not truly divinely on your path, whatever it is that is yours, you'll never, it'll never leave you. It'll, it'll never, you'll never miss it. And it almost feels like the heart of the situation is talking about being open to a path that is not truly yours. Your, this is coming from this place of everything being divine and beautiful, wonderful, like having dreams met, having wishes met. And then we get to the heart of the situation and it's like, but those perhaps weren't actually yours. Oh, okay. Your higher self, I know that doesn't feel good. Your higher self is saying, I might be vengeful, I might be angry, I might be upset, but mostly when I see the, the queen of wands reversed, I feel like she's frustrated because she doesn't know where to channel her energy. She has a culmination of energy, a ton of it, and she doesn't know what to do with it. And your angels and guides are like, okay, you need to seek the truth. You need to seek your truth and channel it there. This could also be tell the truth when you tell like, like the truth will set you free kind of thing. I'm going to get back here happening now and into the near future is talking about back and forth reciprocation of energy and resources. In this deck, it's also called the generosity card. This card is definitely about generosity sometimes. Um, but it's also about equal generosity, some kind of exchange of energy. Big picture is talking about coming out of hibernation, coming out of recuperation, coming out of meditation. Your advice, now we'll come back here, is talking about a complete death and complete rebirth, a cycle. Your advice is to end a cycle, and rebirth, start again. Release the idea. This is, this is a possible third party, but this is also collaboration. Release the idea that you need a collaboration of some kind here. And you're saying I have resistance to moving forward and moving on and moving through a rite of passage. I wanna know more about this. I have resistance to getting balance. I also have resistance to patience. Okay, so past, present, future. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is reversed. This is really about in the past, digging your heels in. It's like stagnant energy. I'm not budging type energy. And then we have the Seven of Cups and the Magician in the present time. So this is about manifesting lots of opportunities. This is also manifesting lots of options. This can be people. This can be actual opportunities, things that you love. I'm hearing new divine passions. It kind of feels like trying to recreate all of these wishes that were coming true, trying to recreate, trying to get the band back together, trying to recreate all those things. But I want to keep in mind that all these wishes were not necessarily that your true path. So there's this advice to change the cycle, end one cycle and rebirth, but it's to end a cycle of things that were not, that are complete, that you don't want to bring into the future. Yet it kind of feels like in present time, you might still be trying to bring that old stuff back or the old way of doing something back. 
However, I will say this, here's the eight of swords reversed. This is like, these are all my old past stories and I'm looking at them differently. I'm realizing that I have to look at this differently. I'm realizing that I have to look at a truth that I haven't been looking at or tell a truth that I haven't been telling maybe to myself or maybe to others, but this is channeling that truth now into my field rather than all of this other stuff. I feel like even this happening now and into the near future, being generous is sort of being magnetic and attracting these opportunities. I would just say, be careful about attracting the same type of cycle. Okay. So let's take a look, Scorpio, at what your angels and guides want to tell you about the next few days here, next couple of weeks, new moon energy for the month of new directions. Look at that, all of these wishes, new directions. And I wanna read from this book just because I love it. And 45, new directions, departure, new perspectives and goodbyes. A dandelion is an airship traveling through the sky with a top hat as a basket these men are flying away in. One man jumps out of the basket and sails off of a flying dandelion seed. It takes him far away while other men wave goodbye and wish him well. This story illustrates endings and departures that are necessary to gain new perspective in life. It takes courage to change directions and abandon old habits. But if you are bold enough, you can fly towards something new, a dream, a place, even yourself. I love it. I also wanna look at the moonology for you, Scorpio. angels and guides want to tell you step out of your comfort zone i feel like that might have to do with this truth whether you're telling yourself or someone else stepping out of your comfort zone moving into your north node energy your soul purpose energy prosperity lies ahead and here's new moon energy too so something some kind of epiphany some kind of prosperity some kind of information resources coming to you Step out of your comfort zone. Prosperity lies ahead. And it's time to take action. Here's another new moon. So this new moon energy makes me feel like it's it's sooner rather than mid-month, rather than later, that you're going to get this epiphany or understand this information or do something differently this month. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Let me know how that resonates. And I will be back with another reading soonish. Bye, Scott.